Buenos días, you make gente, ¿cómo están? Welcome to a vlog in my life. <laughs> That's not even how you say it, but hello, welcome. Um, I'm so excited you're here. So today is Friday, it's viernes, y el cuerpo lo sabe. <laughs> um, so obviously you can tell I'm in a really good mood for some reason. I don't know why, like I didn't even get that much sleep, but... I feel amazing, so for whatever reason, I feel good. I'm just grateful. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited because, like I said, today's Friday. I only have one class today, which, if you are not aware, I'm an animation or 3D animation student at Vancouver Film School. And I was supposed to be in Vancouver, but I'm not, so I'm still at home because of quarantine. And yeah, I just wanted to show you guys like what my day is like. Yeah, I just like am super excited to show you guys. I'm working on some really fun projects with school and I just feel so lucky to be attending this college and to be surrounded by amazing and talented creatives and people who are just so passionate about animation and the film industry. Um, it, it's just such a good feeling to have that, you know? So yeah, today I have a class in modeling because it's Friday and it's one of my hardest classes just because I'm still trying to grasp the understanding of like the different ways that you can model a 3D object um, or a 3D basic shape. And it sounds easy, right? You would think like, oh yeah, you just press a few buttons and that's it. But <laughs> I've never used Maya before, which is the modeling program that we're using. And I am struggling. So I'm hoping that by the end of like the term, I'll be a lot better. I'm sure I will, but it's just hard, you know, when you are not good at something and you're like, oh my gosh, is this normal? Like, am I supposed to be struggling this much? Um, but yeah, so hopefully everything goes well with that class, but I'm super excited. I love my professor in that class. He's super cool. Um, so yeah, I have class at noon and it's funny because I'm three hours ahead, so um, my time zone, so Vancouver is like three hours behind me, so class actually starts at nine in the morning, but it's nice because I have like some time that I can get ready and stuff, and have a chill morning, and then I don't have class until 12. Um, and so right now I'm going to go and have some breakfast and take you guys along for my day. Okay, I never know like where to angle the camera <laughs> in the mirror, but I wanted to show you guys my outfit. So I love this dress and ignore my socks on the floor. Um, I love this dress. It's so beautiful. And I actually like the back. It makes me feel like I'm going to go out to a party. I'm just like, ooh. <laughs> But I thrifted this. I thrifted this and I got it for like, what, three, four dollars? Literally like one of the best finds I've ever gotten at a thrift store. I literally love thrifting and I can do it forever. Like I love shopping, but like thrifting is one of my favorite things to do because you can just find amazing things. And then I also made these earrings. They're so cute, right? Oh, my hair is like all up in there, but they're super gorgeous. And yeah, I made them out of polymer clay. <laughs> I can't talk. Polymer clay. <laughs> um, and yeah, I just am obsessed with them. One of my friends, she put a tutorial up on her YouTube channel, so I'll have that link down below. But yeah, it's my little precious earrings. Um, so time to eat. Also, just to keep my body safe and healthy, I've been taking one of these every single day. And I also have been taking these recently. Um, I think, I guess maybe I'm overdoing it by taking both. <laughs> but I feel like this one is mainly vitamin C, which makes me feel good. But yeah, I'm just trying to stay healthy during COVID, quarantine, you know.
is my roomie, baby. She's so cute. Her outfit is so adorable. I love it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Hello. So it's three. My class um, is three hours long. So it was from noon to three and we just finished. And it was a really interesting class. We learned about this new tool called... Um, oh my god, I already forgot it. <laughs> It's called, oh, the multi-cut tool. And then we also learned the bevel tool. And these are really helpful for the project that I'm going to be working on for my class. We are modeling a kitchen in this class. And girl, oh my god, it is really hard. <laughs> I guess it's really hard because like I'm still learning. And I've never really used Maya before. So everything is just new to me. And every time we learn something on top of what we learned in the previous class and just like what um but yeah we have to turn in kind of like a light version of detail for our kitchen next friday and i'm super excited because that means my kitchen is gonna look more like a kitchen and yeah it's gonna be like so beautiful um but it's definitely gonna take a lot of work because I don't wanna cheat myself and like not do my best. I really just wanna make sure I'm getting everything down and really learning like how to use every single tool in Maya when it comes to modeling. But yeah, like your girl is stressed. <laughs> but it'll be fine, like I got this. Um, so now I'm just gonna have lunch. I feel like all I really do during quarantine is like have class and then eat <laughs> and sleep. Uh, but um, it's so beautiful today, so I might just like eat outside on the little porch that we have here because I need some sunlight and I haven't really been out um, just because my classes are like pretty much all day most of the time. On Fridays, I only have one class. But yeah, I usually spend like the whole day inside because my classes are three hours long and then I want to work on homework and stuff. Um, but yeah, let's have some lunch. Also, really quick before I actually have lunch, I want to show you guys my kitchen um, just so you can see like what it looks like so far. Okay, I wanted to set up my tripod just so I can move around and show you guys. But basically, this is my little model. And so this view is like the perspective view that shows both my image that I'm using as a reference, which you can see over here. Actually, you can't even see what I'm pointing at. <laughs> this image here is this one over here. And so I'm seeing a perspective view over here so I can see everything. And then this is the camera matching um, render cam. And basically it shows me that I'm actually matching all of my shapes to where they need to be. Um, and also, everything's like different colors. Like, we have this little brown and this pink, and what color is this? I guess it's blue. Um, and this is because I have divided everything into layers over here. So I have my kitchen objects in blue, my window, which is over here, is in. Um, yellow, my oven is brown, and so on and so forth. Um, so I guess for like a beginner, it's not too shabby. And over here, it's like a mess. Oh my gosh, I need to like fix all of these little lines on my back wall. <laughs> um, but yeah, like everything so far is looking really good. And I'm just so excited. But yeah, that's what's going on with my kitchen. Um, and so now we're in the process of like, for example, you can't really tell this is an oven yet, like right here, because obviously I don't have all the details, but my assignment is to go in and start adding all the little knobs in the top part of the stove. And then um, just adding like the little window to see into the oven. So yeah, it's, really like oh my gosh it's crazy because i i don't know it's just so cool to see like it all coming together but yeah um this is my kitchen and i'm so proud of it
love banana milkshakes. I feel like they're super fun and like really easy for a snack. But I made a drawing of Luxo Jr. I don't know if you have seen the short, but it's a Pixar short and it's so cute. It's basically the little lamp and its parent um, and they're playing around with the little um, Pixar ball. And so we watched it in my history of animation class on Wednesday and I just loved it so much that I was like, I have to draw this. This is so cute. And so yesterday I like decided I was going to upload a video of it as a speed paint and today I filmed the intro and then um, I uploaded it on my YouTube channel so it's already up now. Um, and yeah, I'm so happy. Like, I think I want to start doing more speed paint um, videos because I feel like those are just super fun to watch. Just like the process of somebody coming up with an idea and like the sketch and everything. And so yeah, I was just like, you know what, let me just throw some music behind it and then like put it up on YouTube. Because lately it's been a little bit difficult just to film and also come up with ideas to film because school can be pretty intense. Um, but yeah, I'm like so excited that it's up there now. And then I made like a little um, print version that is up on Society6 now. So if you do want to purchase, um, it's up on there and I'll have it linked in the description box below. But yeah, I'm like so excited because I've been wanting to open a shop for a while and like I had started an Etsy a really long time ago, probably like three or four years ago, but I gave up on it really easily because I wasn't making a lot of sales and I also wasn't doing my part to promote the store, which is like why it kind of failed. Um, but I think I also just got impatient with like how much time it takes to actually build an audience and all of that stuff. So I decided recently that I wanted to reopen my shop and instead of putting it on Etsy, I thought it would be cool to do Society6 because they do pretty much everything else for you. All you have to do is upload your design and you choose what you want it to be sold as, so a print or a phone case or anything like that. And they have a lot of things to choose from, which is awesome. So, you guys probably already know about Society6, but yeah, I don't know. I just thought it was really cool, and I was like, you know what? Let me do it. So, I'm super excited, and I'm so happy because, like, people are actually interested in it, and obviously it's not, like, a ton of people, but I've definitely gotten, like, people reaching out and being like, hey, congratulations on your store. I can't wait to buy something, um, and that makes me really excited. But yeah, so now since it's Friday, I mean, there's really nothing to do. I think I might just like relax for a little bit. Um, I do have a lot of homework and I think my classmates want to do kind of like a video chat we do where we have a discord and so we'll like chat on there and sometimes we'll all hop on and do homework together or just like play games which is really cute it's like super fun and we try to make it feel like we're all together even though we're like all virtual um so yeah that might happen later but I think it's just good for me to like rest my eyes because I already spend so much time staring at the computer and it's not healthy so I'm going to rest my eyes for a little bit and I also told myself I was going to work out today that today is my cardio day so Monday and Wednesday is like upper and lower body and then Fridays are my cardio days so yeah I'm going to work out and get sweaty because I need to move my body. Um, so yeah that's basically my plan for the rest of the day. Hello! So oh gosh that was like a very abrupt change in <laughs> lighting. Um, I finished just like taking some time off and it's already 11 <laughs> but I think it was very much needed because I spent a lot of the day on the computer and pretty much every day this week. <laughs> I can't talk this week. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm going to get on to, um, Discord because that's where me and my classmates have our group chat and we're going to do some homework. So I'm pretty excited about that because like, I don't know, I feel like with classes being online, it can definitely feel 
like you're alone but i don't know i get a really good feeling from my class just because everybody is like so excited to be like studying animation and they're so fun um so i don't feel like we're alone <laughs> you know so yeah i'm definitely going to um hop on there and like do some homework with them and then just go to sleep probably around midnight because i am exhausted buenos dias mi bella gente feliz sabado como están bueno i hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog it was super fun to film and i ended up going to uh to bed really late last night because i just was doing homework with my classmates and we were watching like all these like movie intros and it was so cute and so much fun but yeah i had a blast and i hope that you just enjoyed seeing basically what i've been up to during quarantine every day is pretty much the same and in terms of 3d animation and school it's definitely really intense but it's been amazing and just so much fun to be learning everything that i am learning and having the exposure to all the opportunities that my school has given me so if you guys have any questions or you're interested in my school or in animation and you want me to do any more videos about that definitely let me know in the comments below that would really help me um but yeah i hope you enjoyed it and i can't wait to see you in my next video adios